So we're talking about squatting today, and one of the biggest questions that I get is, what is the best way to squat? Is this wrong? Okay, that's, that's a question I receive all the time. They do a squat, they look at me for approval, like I'm their father, and they say, did I do that okay? Is this wrong? And I tend to give these wishy-washy answers because there are multiple ways to be correct in squatting. And today I wanna to talk about the difference between two major uh, ends of the spectrum. So let's say we have a squat for an athlete who wants to be really, really strong and really, really fast. That athlete needs to find any way to create stiffness, to accept a load and then overcome it, okay? so. In doing that, again, a key word here is stiffness. When you think about a yoga person, a yogi, I believe they're called, uh, they're very flexible, right? You don't think of them as being stiff. They're very pliable. They're very, I guess, elastic. They can, they can move. I don't know why I'm like hugging my arms here. This, is, this makes sense though, right? So yogis are very pliable. A, a stiff athlete uses their stiffness to be faster and to be stronger, right? So for them, if they do a bodyweight squat and it, it looks like they collapse in their back and all sorts of stuff, they're all over the place, that might not matter because it might look really good when there's a lot of load. And that's what they're training to do. They're training to perform under load. They need to dissipate forces and they need to create forces so that they can demonstrate power and so that they can beat other teams and everything, right? So... A squat for athleticism and for power and for strength does not look the same as a squat for health. So if I'm doing a squat for health, I might want to really make sure that I tuck my hips underneath me. I don't want to be cranked up in my back, increasing the stiffness. I want to be kind of relaxed, kind of loosey-goosey, kind of like I can start dancing whenever I want, right? And then when I come down, I want to make sure I maintain that. I don't want to start losing it and try to build this stiffness to hang on and then come back up. I want to be able to be loosey-goosey the whole way down. And then I can get a little bit more mobility. So if I create this stiffness, I'm going to run out of mobility right about here, right? I'm getting tired. But if I keep this loosey-goosey, then it's really easy. I can just go. Now, when I'm loosey-goosey like this, I can't support a lot of weight, so I'm not gonna create a lot of force. I'm not gonna be very fast, but I am gonna feel better because it's less stressful on my body. Those two squats, athleticism squats and health squats is what I guess we'll call them. They are, they are different, but they're both correct. It just depends on what you need your squat to do. So I challenge you to ask your question, what is this supposed to do? What is this for? And then you can come down and then you can pick and then you can decide, okay, well, that's maybe not necessarily bad, but also maybe not necessarily what I'm looking for at this point.